I drink till I'm drunk, yeah. smoke till I'm high, yeah. castle on the hill, well, damn. wake up in the sky, you can't tell me I ain't fly, you can't tell me I ain't fly, I know I'm super fly, I know, I know I'm super fly, the ladies love love. It's your girl T and as you guys can see by the title below, today I'm back with another video and today I am going to be telling you guys how you can get subscribers fast in 2018. Even though it's the end, I'm gonna be telling y'all how. So I have four tips. So on um, how y'all can get subscribers, and I will give y'all one bonus tip that I just actually learned myself today. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to turn on post notifications so you will never miss a video. Okay, guys. So tip number one is to be active on your channel. Don't post a video once a week. I mean, some people can, can't help but to post a video once a week. But, like, this is facts. Subscribers will get bored because they're like, okay, well, we have to wait a whole, all the way till next Monday till she posts a video. So, then they have to wait. And so, then they're going to be like, okay, we're not just going to go back to this person's channel. We're going to find a new person that posts about three or four times a week study uploading content and I feel like especially when you're a small channel if you can at least try to upload every day because I'm a small channel so I don't upload every day but I try to upload almost every day I might skip like two or three days but unless it's really something where I can't post that week or something is going on then I just come back with videos after videos so that is tip number one be active when you're small, try to come in back to people that come in on there. You know, do little thing like on your channel. You can feature your subscribers, like one subscriber a month or something. Do something like that. Just have fun with it and be active because, like I said, posting once a week or once a month, a person is going to get bored. Like, I know I would be bored if I'm watching a person's channel. And if they just started and they're barely making videos, I'm trying to get to know this person, but they're barely making videos, I would... Like, probably just be like, okay, I'm not going to watch them. Like, they probably won't unsubscribe, but they won't watch your videos anymore. So, on to tip number two. So, tip number two, knowing when to post. So, I knew this when I had a YouTube channel with my boyfriend, so... I researched it and the best time to post during the weekdays was between um, like 3 and 4 p.m. But I've been doing more research and somebody i seen on another person's channel where they said 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern time is good times to post. So I would just say between 2 and 6 p.m. Eastern time is a great time to post because think about it, all of the children are getting out of school, the parents are getting off of work, they're getting home, getting dinner ready, probably the kids finishing their homework by 6 p.m. They probably have time to watch videos. Parents got their children in the bed, they have time to watch videos. So you never know, You based on your audience, that's how you need to upload, but that is the best time to upload, um, depending on where you're at. This is how I feel, so I always try to upload between like four, five, maybe six, and sometimes seven when I'm behind on editing, but I try to upload by 6 p.m. every time I upload a video. And on the weekends, um, I researched something and it said between, on the weekends between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. is the best time to post because your video is on the, plat on the YouTube platform early in the day and you have a lot of time to actually, you know, you have a lot of like a whole, a lot of time in a day for more people to discover you and find your videos. So let's move on to tip number three. Um, tip number three attract your audience so use great thumbnails like you will want to use a thumbnail where it's like okay y'all see how my background over there is dark so i want to go over there and make a video and take a take my thumbnail or you know get a snapshot from my video from my thumbnail because it will be dark and dual and if somebody did the same exact video and they're 
thumbnail is colorful the picture is clear and bright the person or whoever is looking for this specific video they are probably going to go with the other person over my video because my thumbnail is dull thumbnails mean a lot to god so it don't matter if your video is the best video there if most people want to see the thumbnail first so if your thumbnail is a black picture and my thumbnail is me holding if it's about cooking and i'm holding the food and i got some little images i got colorful stuff and then your picture is just black we, they're probably going to pick on click on my video before they click on yours and your video could be more detailed telling them how to do each step way better than me but they will click on mine before they click on yours so just keep that in mind your thumbnails really are the eye catcher for your videos so you gotta have that title and it have to match the thumbnail so if i'm saying how to make spaghetti step by step or something and then over here my picture is me standing outside by a tree or something they don't be like okay they don't go you if you get what i'm saying and excuse the background noise i'm in my mom's house so they're watching tv step number four do trending videos so go on youtube.com like get on your browser or get on the computer and go to youtube.com go to the trending page see all of the stuff that's trending they're going to tell you well they're not going to tell you but they're going to show you the videos that people are currently watching the stuff people are searching and do those videos do trending things that they can get you discovered starting out as a small channel like if you do trending videos it can get you discovered it get you subscribers like you can see a peak just by doing trending videos um, I would say don't look up the trending videos on your channel because if you, all you watch on your channel is like makeup or tutorials, when you go to the trending page, nine times out of ten, that's what they're going to show you is like the tutorial. So either log out your account and go to the trending page or just get on like browser without being logged in and go to the trending page. And now I have one more bonus tip for you guys. So, the bonus is to use hashtags like you use on Instagram when you post your picture, like hashtag beach 2018, hashtag spring break 2018, and stuff like that. So, on, on your videos, you know how we tag our videos. When you tag the video, you use key phrases in your description box, but with a hashtag because let's say your video is how to do a this how to do a fall makeup look or whatever but you want to in your description you can put hashtag fall makeup hashtag fall 2018 makeup and stuff like this so if somebody searches it it could possibly pull up your video not necessarily where they have to type in keywords actually from your title if you get what i'm saying so that is for tips with a bonus tip so i actually gave you guys five tips today i hope this really helps somebody i hope y'all take something away from this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here please stop what you're doing and subscribe to my channel share this video and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye